but he did end up uh, taking that over Prodigy to get out of pools with mainly Lucario, I think. Right. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see what Bonzo can do. Yeah, we got Mario versus Terry. Yeah, see, the only match, um, time I've seen this matchup is uh, Master Mario versus Nito's, like, Pocket Terry. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Terry's not like, he's like everyone else when he gets combo by Mario. He, he just gets blown up pretty much. Yeah. Okay, yep. Mario also has really good edge guarding capabilities too, with, like the flood and like the, the cape as well. Yeah. I like already that Bounce is trying to call out like a jump back to the stage. You know, he's, it's very obvious that Terry's recovery is very exploitable. Okay, that's a shot right there. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Locust, if if I'm correct, always does the uh, input power dunk for the extra damage and knockback. Mm -hmm. So he, if he hits you like around 100, especially at the ledge, you're, you're just going to get killed by that. Yeah, he, he, it was like guaranteed death right there, as yeah. you saw. And already Bonzo has to play a whole stock behind. Like, that damage output from Terry, if you can start going, then it just stacks up really quickly. Yeah. Added on to the uh, auto turnaround effects, a lot of people try to cross up, you know, Terry, and then he just automatically turns around and hits you with a combo starter. Yeah. So it makes him a really uh, difficult character to deal with. Sometimes yeah. neutral, but oh Whoa. my goodness. That killed? Yeah, and wow. look, the charged uh, rising tackle is very strong, but that also didn't look like the best DI from Bonzo either. Yeah, yeah, we need to talk. We need uh, we need K9 on commentary real quick to talk <laughs> about um, Terry's cross up. Like, <laughs> I think he can explain it much better than uh, we can as holy commentators. Anyways, um, so meter is full right, or it's not really meter. It's just kind of waiting for 100. Yeah. percent But the go meter is available right now, so he has access to power geyser. And Buster Wolf. Yeah. But uh, this is one of the scary parts about fighting a Terry when they're already up on you in stocks, and they also have the you know access to the two super moves. It can just snowball uh, his lead so hard. Yeah. And I'm kind of seeing that right now from uh, from Locus. Is he out of here? Yeah. Three stock. The hit confirmed to the Buster Wolf. Looking really, really, really damn strong. Yeah, that was. I don't even know if there's anything that Bowser could have done about that. He was just dead at that point. I think what happened as well is uh, the reason why he starts that combo with the down tilt is to pop them in the air so that they're pretty much forced to land into like the uh, the jab that mm -hmm. confirms into the, the Buster Wolf. Right. So, yeah, that's a three stock. That's actually a very strong uh, start for Locust so far. And we're going with the K rule, it looks like, for Bonzo. It's Congo Saga. Everyone has to pull out their pocket DK character. <laughs> <laughs> and remember when the DK franchise only had, like, one rep? Now they have four. Like, yeah. Well, uh, like, like, it's crazy. Anyways, another jab, jab, power dunk. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> I mean... This is his best combo starter for sure. Like yeah. it racks up so much percent. Like I even know. if you if you don't do the input power dunk, it still does 20 plus. I think around around 30. He almost died from that. Yep. Like, the only reason he lived longer was because he was K roll. Yeah. It, like the normal character is already dead. Yeah. What's the control gonna be? Oh. Down tilt into another power dunk. Okay. He's out of here again. Doing the input power dunk just to make sure he's dead. But uh, man, K roll so big that uh, Terry's. Down tilt hit him from both sides. Like he went behind Terry from the down tilt, automatically turned around, got the down tilt. Yeah, it's, definitely. This is like, oh wait, hold up, he hit the spike though. Oh man, that's unfortunate for him. Uh, that was smart from Locust though. He let himself get hit by the helicopter blade, so he get popped up. I don't know if he meant to do that, but it looked like it since he, he did the sideways recovery first. Yeah, something I've just noticed from all these like Terry players is they are all really good at recovering. Yeah. They, they're so good at utilizing all of Terry's like mix-ups to get to the ledge. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of okay, that's a stock. It kind of reminds me of like the top-level Cloud in Smash Four, mm, where they true. even though like on paper Cloud was supposed to have a bad recovery, like there was enough ways to mix up that you could survive. So yeah. yes, that's what you're supposed to exploit, but like the good players know how to get around it with their yeah. fundamentals. So that that power dunk actually has negative landing lag. It, it's so hard to punish. It's almost. Like, zero lag. Ooh, Ooh. F-Till, Buster Wolf? Dang, even heavy Dang, K rolls out of here. Dude, double three stock? Yeah, that was a six stock, bro. I think I think Locust found his character. Took a, took a little bit of time, but he's found it. Yeah, so... And